Hello, this is Brian Lawfer, Vice President of Operations at Aspire Technologies. This quick video will review the HTML email functionality we have added in QuoteWorks version 4.6. To send an email out of QuoteWorks, what we do is click on the print button here and select the layout, cover page, literature, spec sheets, and links that we want to attach. Um, and all I'm going to do is click on email. That's going to bring up our new email window. Um, basically, uh, this is going to be very similar to what we had in the past. We've designed it uh, slightly differently now so that you know you can resize the window. Um, but as you can see we've got our hello sold to contact at the top and then we've got our signature here at the bottom. Um, if you don't want to default to an HTML email um, you can switch in between so if I wanted to I could click uh, under options here change the format to HTML that'll copy the entire body over to HTML and uh, from here we can start using the new functionality. So for instance um, I could bold my name, for instance, and I can italicize my title. And you'll notice that you know the, the bold and italics are there as well. So if I wanted to underline my company name, for instance, I could do that just by clicking on underline here. Okay, um, so that's if you're uh, if you're switching in between. Um, but one of the things that you guys are going to want to do right off from the bat is change your default to be using HTML. So to do that, all we're going to do is click on Tools and My Preferences because this is a user setting. So each user can either decide to use plain text or HTML. And what we're going to do is go over to the Internet tab here. This is all going to be the same. Uh, but what we're going to do is go over to Defaults, and this is where we can default the message format to HTML. And here we have our plain text signature. And we also have an HTML signature as well. Uh, to customize that, just click on the button. That's going to bring up the window. And from here, we can make any changes. Um, you can see that we've got some macro fields in here, like uh, logged in user full name, uh, for instance. If we wanted to change that to sales rep full name, we can do that. Uh, down here under insert macro, you'll see that we've got our macro list here. And we've got you know a whole bunch of, uh, of information here. So we've got ampersands. Um, so if we wanted to, we could find the sales rep full name like we've got right here, okay? And that'll bring that in. If we wanted to change the font, we could. And maybe drop that down to 2. And we can take out this one and bold that. And there we go. We've made that change. Uh, you can also manually type in the macro names as well if you're familiar with them, okay? So now when I click on print and email, you'll notice that we are now defaulting to HTML. So other than being able to bold and you know italicize and you know underline different things, uh, the other thing that's nice about when sending this email is the fact that now we can actually attach images or embed images as well. Um, so like right here we've got image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring in my signature. Um, so I'll just click on open here. Okay, and there's my signature. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and you know insert that um, underneath my name, for instance. So there we go. And when I send this, it's not going to be a regular attachment. It's going to be embedded in that email. Uh, so that way, it's always going to be there. Um, but you know, if this is going to be part of your signature, I'd probably recommend instead of embedding it, linking it to someplace out on the web, uh, similar to what we have here with our logo. Um, that way, you know, when you're sending out these emails, they're not going to, you know, if you're sending like five emails to the same person, you know, over the course of a week, for instance, out of QuoteWorks, you're, you know, you're not going to send them that same attachment over and over again. It can just link off your website and you'll have a smaller email. Um, the other thing that you can do too is if you're familiar with HTML, uh, you can take a look at the source and you can even make modifications in the source itself um, and you're, you'll be good to go. So that's our new HTML email functionality. Um, it's it's really going to help you, you know, brand your quotes. Um, you know, you can include your company logo, like I said, your signature. Um, it's really a great new feature. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give our uh, technical support a call or send them an email. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's what we're here for. Have a great day.